Your voice is not that clear, guys. Your voice is not that clear. Sir, I am in the traveling for that, sir. Okay. So, basically, uh, basically, you are as... Signal and pain signal developer. Yeah, correct, sir. Okay, got it. Great. So, you have a database background that is uh, really great. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Deposka, I got... Uh, how is that uh, Saurabh Singh? Saurabh Singh. Saurav Singh is not uh, responding. How about Hari? Hari Garu? Uh, Prasad Babu, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I have 10 years of experience in IT. And uh, I have the uh, ETL and uh, reporting background, actually. Uh, I worked in data warehouse projects. I feel uh, Snowflake will be good uh, as it's a cloud data warehouse. Uh, you see, added advantage for me. That's why. So one thing is, uh, who is talking here? Prasad Babu, right? Yeah, yeah. Not only Prasad Babu. Slow, Snowflake is not only good Prasad Babu, it is an amazing platform. Okay. Am amazing platform. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we'll talk about uh, how how exactly it is going to be amazing here. Okay. okay sure. yeah. And uh, yeah, we have this Praveen. Praveen, can you please introduce yourself? Praveen? Yeah. Hi, sir. My name is Praveen. Uh, I have around uh, 12 years of experience. Yeah. Uh, uh, Informatica ATL uh, background right now. Oh, so great. I'm going to switch to, switch oh, to cloud technologies. Great, great. Yeah. How about uh, this uh, Sai Palkuri? Sai Palkuri Garu? Sir, good morning, sir. Yeah, good evening. Chapande, what about you, Andy? Can you give your great introduction about yourself? Yeah, I uh, completed my B.Tech in 2020. So after uh, that, uh, I was willing to uh, learn uh, Snowflake training about cloud data and so on. No, nothing, sir. No. I didn't. I, I didn't have any experience of uh, experience IT. level. I'm reckoning to chat. I am from Hyderabad. I am from Hyderabad. Oh, mm. great, great. So, how about Bavia? Hi, Bavia. Hi, sir. How are you? Good, good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, can you please give me your brief introduction about yourself in terms of your education, your technical experience, and uh, why did you come for this snowflake? Uh, sir, actually, myself, Bhavya Bantu. Uh, mm. Currently, I'm staying in the uh, United States. Recently, I completed my master's in computer science. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Hello. Uh, Bavia, where are you from? Hello, sir. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Where are you from? I'm from US, yes, sir. Currently, recently, I completed my master's in computer science. Right now, you're in US, huh? Yes, sir. Which state? I'm staying in New Hampshire, sir. Okay, great, great. Yeah, I'm from Florida. That's the reason I'm asking you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for that introduction, uh, Bavia. Bavia. And uh, yeah. we, have, we have this uh, uh, Saurabh Singh. Can you please introduce yourself, Saurabh? I think Saurabh is busy, it seems. So, so how about Swati? Swati? Yeah. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, sir, I'm an ETL developer and mm. uh, uh, my uh, recent project, uh, Snowflake, is required. So, uh, I was used almost uh, more than one plus years, Snowflake, but only the basic thing what I'm using in Oracle. 
Okay. But the new feature, what is involved in a snowflake that I don't uh, aware. I means I have just learned some theoretical knowledge, but I don't have uh, the uh, actual experience uh, in uh, snowflake uh, new feature. So when I uh, mentioned my CV, I have uh, one or two years of experience in snowflake. Everyone expecting me uh, to actually work in a snowflake new feature. So I don't know that thing. So that's okay. why I want to learn Snowflake and that is very demanding nowadays. If I'll just mention a Snowflake, nobody asking me about Azure Data Factory, Informatica, Informatica Cloud. I have a work in multiple ETL tools, but everyone fo fo uh, focusing on the Snowflake thing. Okay, so that is 90% Snowflake and 10% ETL they are asking. So that's why I want to join the course. Got it. Got it. It's a great uh, introduction and then... Uh... It's a great inspiration through which you are trying to learn, Swati. Uh, appreciate it on that one. Okay. Thanks. And uh, Saurav, you'd like to speak or uh, may know who is this uh, Samsung SM S908E? Yeah, it's me, sir. Like Sai uh, Raghunath Reddy. I, I am unable to change the name. That's why. But that's okay. That's okay. Please uh, introduce yourself about yourself, sir. Yeah, myself Sai Raghunath Reddy. Yeah, I am working as data engineer in Jet2 Travel Technology. Mm. So our company is uh, moving to cloud systems. So yeah, that's why I joined this. Okay, great. That's a great introduction, everyone. How about Avinash and Vijay? Yeah, Ravi, this is Vijay. I already completed the first introduction. Yeah, yeah. See, uh, you told that uh, you are from this database and all those backgrounds, right? Basically, ETL and uh, yeah, it, ETL, ETL background, yes, correct. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, we are able to see Snowflake Cloud Data Platform. Yes, that is, that is the Snow Cloud, yeah. Snowflake Cloud Data Platform. So I am uh, I am Ravi Kumar, I'm based out of uh, Florida. Uh, I am working as a data scientist from the last 22-23 uh, years. Okay, I have done so many roles uh, as a data modeler, data architect, data engineer, uh, ETL lead, uh, business and intelligence architect. Okay, and right now I'm in the form of a solution architect uh, for one of the companies in Florida, and then I have been working here. Okay, and uh, Snowflake is my passion. Okay, one way I need to appreciate all these audience for whom we are having here is that uh, all the people are having at least uh, a significant amount of database experience, whether it is uh, SQL, whether it is uh, whether it is a database, EDL reporting or something other sort uh, that has made my life easy that uh, I really don't need to go back into the basics in order to start everything from scratch. What is a table? What is something of that sort? Instead, what I can do is that uh, I can take you to that next level next level of snowflake uh, in order to make you as a not any because many people told that uh, they're from the etl background etl developer something of the sort right but here we are here to get into this uh, modern data platform modern data platform that modern data platform includes uh, both uh, data lakes data warehouses elt extract load and transform okay and then that will be used for all your uh, different types of uh, purposes, all those particular things we are going to have. Okay. So one, one, one request what I'm making to everybody is that uh, you please be with me for today and tomorrow. Okay. Today and tomorrow, we'll try to understand each of our, each of us in a better way so that uh, I'll be telling you the course content, what I'm going to cover, what depth of practical experience is really required in order to become a great uh, snowflake uh, data engineer or a snowflake cloud architect, or else uh, what type of certifications that you need to complete uh, in order to secure your job in the future career. All those particular things uh, I would like to discuss. Make sure that you get a confidence and trust on me along with the uh, e-classes also as well. The moment once you get that complete trust, uh, then we'll start sailing into the next week and then start, uh, start uh, doing these particular classes. Does it make sense, Avinash and Bhavya and Deepak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. See, again, I'm telling you, the classes will be from Tuesday to Saturday. 
monday you don't have the class you understand what i'm saying because uh, here my monday happens to be your tuesday and my friday happens to be your saturday is that arrangement good for everybody or else anybody is having any convenience please let me know that is first thing that i want to clarify to everyone so to tuesday to saturday means uh, sunday monday is uh, no classes ravi That's yes sunday time. monday no classes yes mm, what timing sir what timing 7:30 sir 7:30 to 8:30 no is okay what sir may i know the timings again please 7:30 hard you guys are good because my time now is 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock right your time is 7:30 to 8:30 in the morning so we are all here for some purpose right so yes. that purpose need to be solved that purpose is something if you are able to get the complete expertise on this snowflake okay as well as if you are able to complete uh, uh, the certification the snow pro course certification and the snow pro course certification advanced if you are able to complete then if you are able to apply these uh, snowflake uh, concepts in your real time jobs that you are doing and if you get notified that is the ultimate justice that we need to do for yes, this babu do you agree with me yes sir and uh, how about all the other people deepak avinash and um, manish pande manoj please no issue timing will be okay yeah we are here for swati i hope you are following what i am doing here right ram garu yeah that is the purpose we are planning to do this particular course here okay so i am telling you here i am going to deal this particular snowflake in a very expert way so that uh, you will be getting the complete uh, a to z of this particular snowflake that will make you from zero to hero in this next uh, uh, two months of time that's what's the plan okay okay sir and uh, this is my almost uh, uh, 30 second batch 30 second batch in snowflake okay G guys uh, could you kindly go on mute please there is an echo that is coming up thank you and and uh, another thing is that uh, almost in every batch almost in every batch minimum 4 to 5 people get certified now you need to decide yourself whether you want to get certified or you whether you just want to complete the course just for name sake pravin what is your goal you tell me whether you want to complete the course or whether you want to do the certification also as well certification as well because i want to move to cloud technology that's why like if i do a certification it will be good right Like what if uh, if i make you a hero in this cloud computing technologies will it be good bad or ugly you tell me yeah, yeah super <laughs> till we good then yes okay so let us start so i welcome you all for this uh, snowflake uh, cloud data platform okay uh, within this one you will be able to understand these things unleash the power of technology this is what we are going to do here so that is me where we are going to use this uh, snowflake uh, data engineering and uh, data analytics job targeted boot camp i am ravi ravi by the way don't ask me like why your first name and last name are only ravi ravi it's ravi ravi that's it okay in the snow cloud data platform we are going to touch all these particular things here whatever you are seeing here but you are seeing the screen right we will be talking about all these sources we will talk about how to collect the data how to use this uh, metallian architecture in terms of uh, how can we capture how can we curate how can we transform how we can uh, consume that particular data for your data science machine learning and all those particular applications uh, how can we make this uh, how can we make this uh, data in the snow flood snowflake cloud data platform proficient those are all the things uh, that we are going to learn in this uh, 40 day course 
40 day course okay now i welcome you all for this snowflake uh, data engineering boot camp it is also data engineering and data analytics boot camp okay now i told you right uh, it is going to be an exciting journey with me because we are going to explore the data engineering and the decision making process of this data driven technologies also as well that's why it is going to be super famous then we'll boot camp what we'll be learning here proficient data engineers capable of designing building and maintaining the infrastructures that will drive your data pipelines and data lakes machine manish is this something that you are looking at or you are looking at a different perspective please tell me this is what is the objective of this course we want everyone to make a proficient data engineers what they do they will be capable of building these efficient data pipelines and uh, data lakes and responsible for maintaining all this particular architecture and infrastructure that is the way we are trying to build this uh, platform that is the way we are trying to build this particular platform here is that clear guys pravin bavia yeah yes right no so initial remarks i am telling you here there is a three day demo i have told you right a two day demo only today and tomorrow no rush i told you right it is going to be a 40 day commitment two months of commitment that you are going to have uh, interactive experiences you can ask questions you can be flexible uh, transparency and then uh, future success these are all the uh, guidelines and the rule book that i follow in order to make you comfortable in order to learn this particular uh, snowflake data engineering program okay now what is this course objective see hands on experience and all these snowflake features along with your uh, snowflake implementation there is no need for you to spend money in order to work on this particular snowflake practical labs you will be given a free trial account you can create the free trial account that free trial account is for uh, nine sorry for one month uh, where you will be given that uh, 40 400 dollars credit uh, where you can have the option of exploring all the features that we are going to discuss within this uh, data engineering pipelines so that uh, we'll be doing theory and uh, uh, practice side by side and uh, best practices and uh, and again i'm telling you here no practice uh, prerequisite learn to learn this snowflake but uh, it would be good if you are having this uh, uh, data warehousing concepts to understand the scenarios better that would be really great now the question is that uh, I see Pravin twice. Uh, both are same or both are different? Yeah, it's same only. Like actually, initially I st uh, started joined from mobile. Then after oh. that, I joined from laptop. But you understood the objective of why are we doing this snowflake, right, Pravin? Yeah, yeah. yes. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so this is the agenda. We want to understand what is Snowflake, what is that ecosystem, the job opportunities, the job roles, and all the other things we'll be discussing. I may not be able to complete all these things uh, today, and uh, I request everyone to, to join tomorrow also as well, free class, making sure that you make a justification to your decision why we are here, and accordingly we'll make a decision and then we'll go from there. That is the reason uh, we're trying to take these particular sessions here. Okay, so about me, as I have told you, right? I'm Ravi Ravi, data architect turned data scientist, having two decades of experience in data engineering, working as a solution architect for the state of Florida. Okay, so here. I offer all these particular boot camps, machine learning, AI, and data science, and all these things focuses on uh, building your ETL pipelines and ETL infrastructures basically. And then uh, instructor partner for uh, our eCloud solutions. And then uh, globally with the cloud error and uh, Databricks also as well. And uh, my intention is trying to make sure that I learn uh, and then uh, passionate about uh, troubleshooting these technical issues, learning new skills, and then uh, imparting the knowledge to the other people. That is how my total journey is expected to be here. Okay. With respect to this one, there is a purpose why we are here for this particular bootcamp. Uh, 
you train educate train and get yourself uh, ready for the field and uh, one thing that you need to understand here is that uh, the course has been curated in such a way that uh, it will it is really required for your industry standards and based on this industry standards uh, we are here to uh, make yourself as efficient as possible as the successful data engineers because everything is here is uh, time sensitive and time bound we are not here to spend uh, hours and hours and ages here uh, in order to learn the same things again and again boot camps are really time sensitive here so these are all the buzzwords uh, you all know anybody know anybody doesn't know any of these buzzwords here we talk about memory cloud on premise infrastructure software platform database data warehouse anyway we will be seeing all these things in the architecture of snowflake but these are all the things that we'll be learning here like uh, compute storage data and all those particular things and uh, these are all the terms that we are going to use uh, frequently in the in the next 40 days of sessions in the next 40 days of sessions we are going to ca call here and then we will be learning the data engineering paradigms along with uh, whatever uh, the data analytics that we want to do either with uh, snow snowflake dashboards snow sites or else uh, what are the things that we want to do with uh, uh, what are the things that we want to do with uh, uh, data analytics all those particular things also we'll try to cover in this particular series here so first about what is this snowflake what is saying here it is a super advanced and efficient uh, storage system basically it is a data warehouse where the consumer can store all its data information not on premise but it is something that is based on the cloud okay the second thing is that uh, now snowflake is not a regular data warehouse but what is it uh, manus what type of data warehouse is it it is not a regular data warehouse that you try to build using informatica data, data stage or something of that sort uh, but it is something different what is that one it is basically treated as a magical so, data warehouse it's a magical data warehouse why is this magical data warehouse uh, will be seen here the thing is that uh, uh, see here it is in the cloud first thing so when it is in the cloud uh, pravin can you say that it is an on premise it's a cloud one it is totally a pure cloud solution it doesn't exist on uh, on premise okay uh, the next thing is that uh, next thing is that see here it is super fast when you're having petabytes of data or uh, jettabytes of data also as well it has the uh, when you're having this uh, petabytes of data or uh, jettabytes of data it has the option for running your queries in the nanosecond uh, using your quantum computing techniques that's why it is a uh, incredibly fast it is insane fast what we can say in order to uh, respond to your queries basically the next thing is that uh, it can handle i told you right tons and tons of data it can handle then the other thing is that uh, it is super smart Sm super smart in the sense uh, it has got a lot of features that the other data viruses doesn't have especially it has got this uh, time travel feature, the zero cloning feature. It has got something like uh, data sharing features. It has got this uh, super security features, the role-based uh, analytics that you can do. So all these things are, uh, it is only SQL based. It is going to be SQL based uh, and uh, it is not going to expect any Python or some other scripting for the purpose of doing this one. If you know SQL, you can become a gem of Snowflake. That's why it is going to be your uh, uh, super smart and then uh, what it can do is that it is uh, totally secured as what I have told you and uh, these are all the different features what you are having with respect to your uh, snowflake understood can somebody summarize what is the snowflake as what you have seen now what is snowflake it's a magical warehouse oh. in the cloud based Mm -hmm. data warehouse it's it will 
super fast. It's tons of petabytes uh, data we, we can store in this cloud, magical data warehouse, cloud snowflake. Yeah. So it is a data warehouse that uh, it can have the option of uh, trying to keep this particular data so that uh, we can have the option of using this particular data for, you can have the option of using this particular data for uh, uh, analytics, basically. It is in the cloud. It has got uh, tons of data. It is super fast. All these particular features is something that we plan to use here. Okay. So since uh, you are going to, since many of the people are here from this uh, data warehousing or database background, I just want to talk about something which is nothing but uh, a peek into the past. A peek into the past, uh, which is nothing but your uh, traditional data ecosystem. Traditional data ecosystem, let us try to understand here. What is this traditional data ecosystem? Okay, so the first thing is, see here. Business is a data business. We need to master the value of the data and then uh, we need to have an open approach on this particular data. So Praveen, do you think that uh, without data, you'll be able to live every day? You'll not be able to live every day, right? So like uh, so many systems are trying to generate this particular data here. Saurav Singh and uh, Swati, uh, can, you, can you agree with me like uh, the whole business is something that is being generated by data here? Is it not? Yes. The whole business is being generated by the data. So what customers prefer to have? Customers want to have the more value of this particular data, but this data is growing exponentially from so many sources that data is being uh, generated. Can you tell me, can anybody tell me the different sources from where this data is being generated? Different sources from where this data is being generated. Can anybody tell me? What are the different sources? Can be from file ERP system, files, database, uh, and uh, I um, APIs. Uh, IoT devices. The data is being generated. Yeah. Is it not uh, your data warehouse? Uh, is it not your uh, sensors, IoT devices, your mobiles, or else uh, your uh, cars? Everything is generating a lot of data, right, Swati? Everything is generating yes, a lot sir. of data, right? Yeah. And uh, earlier in the databases, we are having only structured data in the form of tables. But now it is not only limited to your structured data. It is uh, having this uh, semi-structured and unstructured data also as well. Okay. Not only, not only few people are using that data, many people are trying to use that particular data. And then uh, it is being analyzed by multiple applications also as well, right? These are all the things that are happening here. Anyway, uh, Ravi, uh, tell me. Yeah. So how it will store the data? So is it exactly any file system behind this Snowflake which is having? Or uh, uh, if it is a uh, cloud database tool, so will it be stored data in ADLS container Azure? Or how it will store the data in backend? It's a very good question that Manikim has asked. I appreciate yes. that question, Manikim. Okay. So please give me time to answer. I'll just answer now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Since uh, you all people came from this, uh, um, came from this background, let me tell you. Um, one minute. What I do is that, uh, I go to this, uh, I go to this, uh, this one. <coughs> snowflake. When you go to this snowflake, you'll be able to see something like snowflake here. When you open this snowflake here, you're hanging something like a uh, start for free. You see here, this is this one here. This is start for free. Mm -hmm. When you select something like start for free, it will be showing you here. Suppose uh, uh, if I give the name, if I give the name as uh, Ravi uh, Cloud, uh, one minute.
company email i'll give you something like uh, anything i can give here revit at olip at the rate uh, gmail.com company name is uh, x dxc and then uh, some role i can specify and then if i try to click on this continue uh, one minute See, now you see here what is asking here, Manikim, your Manik, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, Manik. You can have your Snowflake uh, that can exist on your uh, any of these three platforms. Okay, so you can try to create your Snowflake on Azure. You can create your Snowflake on uh, AWS services. Uh, one minute, hold on, please. So you can create in Azure, you can create in AWS, or else you can create in Google platform. Okay. If you are uh, if you are trying to select this one in uh, Azure, then what happens is that uh, uh, the type of storage what is being used is nothing but your uh, ADLS, that is uh, Azure Data Lake Storage that uses. In case if it is Azure AWS, it is going to use your S3. If it is a uh, uh, Google Cloud platform, it will be using your BigQuery for the purpose of storing that particular data. You understood what I'm saying now? Yeah. So is it required any subscription before starting this uh, Snowflake? So for example, if I want to create this Snowflake free trial, the Azure is uh, behind that storage system. Or if I select that AWS, that is S3 is a storage system and Google Cloud and something file system, which is having in the behind. So do we have any I'll subscription? You, I'll tell you one thing. So you will be interacting as a user, you will be interacting only with the Snowflake. Okay. But you will never be interacting with your uh, underlying cloud service providers. You will be totally shielded and hidden from your, uh, you will be totally hidden and shielded from your uh, cloud service providers. Snowflake only will handle. The only thing that you need to have is that you need to have a subscription or an account with the Snowflake and then uh, Snowflake will try to take the rest of the things. That's why Snowflake is a cloud data platform that utilizes the services of your cloud service providers in order to provide you the data warehousing capabilities. That means that uh, it is uh, acting like a broker or an agent between the customer and then the ultimate end of your cloud service providers. Because uh, see, a cloud service provider can provide you all these things. It can provide you the storage, computer, uh, networking, and all those particular uh, facilities that it can provide. But cloud data platform, what it can do is that it can provide you only the facility that you can use uh, the underlying infrastructure services based on your, based on your, uh, uh, what we can say, the requirement. So that's why Snowflake is only a broker between the cloud service providers and then the the customer. Is that clear to you now? Yes, yes, got it. So is there any limit to store the data? There is no limit, right? If I take yeah. the, a subscription uh, for a Snowflake that, or a uh, is, Let me tell you. One thing is that uh, when you are coming to cloud computing, uh, the first thing that you need to understand is that we need to start guessing. Stop guessing. Because your data is virtually unlimited. You agree with me? Yes. yes. In the cloud, your data is virtually unlimited. The only thing that you need to do is that based on the amount of storage, amount of computer, amount of anything that you use, uh, you need to pay for those things because you pay for what you use. That's the reason what happens is that uh, everything is virtually unlimited in that particular case. Is that clear now? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Swati, you are having a question. Please tell me. Yeah, sir. So I'm just asking, uh, we are using a free trial for 30 days and this course for almost two months. So, sir, uh, means uh, when we are creating a free trial account, uh, is it possible to uh, create a next month as well? 
with the same yeah, you, you create a separate uh, you create a separate email and using that particular separate email uh, you can create that one you can use okay, that because yeah, one... you are giving uh, lots of issues uh, when we are using the same thing and sir second thing uh, can uh, what uh, feature we are, you are covering uh, can we practice in the free trial means are they uh, available or is it required a paid service shall i, te shall I tell you one thing uh, swati you, mm -hmm. this session is also being recorded every feature what we are going to discuss you can practically mm -hmm. experiment within the snowflake uh, free trial edition that is possible okay oh, okay sir except there are some limitations like fail safe feature and all the a couple of things might not be practiced but 90% uh, of the features you will be able to practice on the platform pre trial edition okay okay okay, okay. thank you uh, there is one more question that is being asked who is that one okay so now manikyam is that clear to you right manikyam is that clear to you your question yeah. Yes, Ravi. I clicked. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, sir. So here, what we told is that uh, these customers are asking for this uh, more type of data that we need to do. Uh, when we get into this uh, current slide, you can see here. This is the data that is being asked here. And then what is really happening is... Uh, Finding the value in the data is a journey. When so much amount of data that is really being generated, what we are really interested in is, uh, we are really interested in uh, getting the value of that particular data. How can we get that value of that particular data is something that we need to understand. Okay, for that particular purpose, you can see something like, uh, we need to explore the data. We need to start integrating that particular data. And based on this one, we need to do this uh, analysis and insights that is really required uh, along with, uh, we should have something like continuous improvement of data that need to happen. Okay, for all these particular purposes, uh, what we have done in this uh, traditional reporting platform is, uh, we started with the uh, databases and data warehouses. Right guys, Manikim, Avinash, yes, yes. Anvish. We started with this uh, databases and data warehouses. Then came the concept of your big data. Within that one, you are having so many technologies that you need to learn that uh, uh, big, uh, high HBase, Cloudera distributions, Zookeeper, Flume, all those particular things people used to learn. People used to learn. Okay. So that means that uh, what is being done here, often undertaking with uh, so many silos of tools and data. That means that uh, whenever you are trying to learn all these particular techniques, uh, what is really happening is, what is really happening is, uh, you are not able to keep pace of this particular existing technologies. So many technologies, your resumes and your job requirements are filled up with so, so many technologies uh, so that uh, it would be difficult to handle all these particular things. Can you agree with me, Bhavya, on that one? Yes, sir. So there are so many technologies that you are hanging here. Okay. Now the question is that uh, data is in silos data is in silos then so that means that uh, when you are having your legacy data so many people have mentioned something like uh, they have been working in uh, informatica data stays and all those particular things one thing is that uh, uh, complex to set up and manage they don't scale takes months to add the new resources queries are uh, takes uh, too long and then uh, uh, costs uh, millions of dollars up front so all these things are uh, really advantages or else uh, they are disadvantages, uh, Vijay. What do you say on these things? Yeah, correct. Right. They yeah, are all so having a lot of disadvantages, right? It's a disadvantage. This on-premise. Yeah, this on-premise is really having a lot of problem and... Uh, and maintenance uh, also. The maintenance is also a problem and uh, in case uh, if the new version comes, you need to upgrade to that new version. So Informatica or data stays or Ebenezio or business objects, data services or uh, whatnot. Uh, any tool that you can use like Talent, uh, Pentaho, these are all so many tools that have come here. And uh, we can't uh, keep on upgrading ourselves in order to learn all these particular new tools and techniques basically, right? So these are all the complex uh, things that we can see here. Performance limitations are there. Scalability challenges are there. And then uh, 
high cost these are all the things that you can have here so is it not giving to this uh, friction and pain this is obviously giving a lot of friction and pain because uh, very expensive slow to innovation users struggle to find the data they need there is no single source of truth that is really available in all these particular things basically okay so that's the reason shall shall we still continue with the old uh, old uh, tried uh, tested frustrated uh, data platforms or uh, still we need to move ahead on to the new platforms uh, guys what do you say i need to listen to your comments here deepak pravin sri hari swati and all those people please tell me shall we stick on to the old legacy platforms or uh, it's the time to move on leaving all those uh, old technologies here it's time to move on sir we have to move on we have to it's time to move on it's time to move on okay when it's time to move on then obviously what we need to do is that uh, uh, we need to start uh, moving on to this new features like this welcome to the future within welcome to the features what are all the things that you are seeing over there tell me what are all the technologies that you are seeing over there vijay or anvesh oh aws azure here snowflake yeah is. we are talking aws. about aws azure snowflake uh, databricks and gcp along with uh, deep learning machine learning data analytics and uh, data engineering this is what is the future that we are really looking at yes this is what is the future that you are really looking at at this particular process okay so for doing all this particular process uh, we need to come up with this uh, new platform how to use this particular data so there are a lot of analytics that are really happening here the data is being exposed here and then uh, the rise of the cloud is also rising here so that means that uh, it is you can see here right uh, that log streams uh, json files xml files the text messages the sensors the mobile devices and iot devices that means that uh, the data is being uh, growing exponentially and then uh, analytics is also growing everywhere and then the cloud is also giving you the rise of the things so that means that uh, this is the future can anybody disagree with me deepak no sir no this is the rise of the future this is the rise Correct. of the future that we are having here okay so when this is going to be the rise of the future uh, what exactly we need to do here we need to make sure that uh, we need to take a platform approach that can try to give you that uh, very big business impact trying to take a platform thing that will try to give you that business impact what is that one here we need to make better and quicker decisions hey tomorrow is only the time where you can have the option of trying to take a better and quicker decision okay now reduce the cost of uh, scaling and data management analytics then create a greater customer experience with the data you are all customers of me and uh, eclo technologies and uh, i hope everybody has filled those particular forms right is there anybody who have not yet filled the forms guys can you please let me know <coughs> done sir yeah so here uh we need to give a great customer experience we need to reduce the cost of scaling the data and then uh, we need to make uh, better management decisions also as well for this particular purpose uh, can somebody explain what we has been doing uh, uh, from the last uh, traditional to this uh, future cloud computing system what is being done here we started with this on prize enterprise data warehouse right yeah no Yes, please go on mute please you have your uh, sql databases starting then uh, when we came to this big data we really don't have all these particular things we try to have all these different types of data using a uh, hadoop and everything then came the technology of first generation cloud where you are having something like uh, aws uh, azure and uh, google something of that sort okay and uh, finally when you come to this particular process uh, there is something called as this cloud data platform this cloud data platform is something like a snowflake or uh, azure databricks that you can use databricks that we can use so there we can have the option of all data all users 
fast answers and then this is also your uh, sql database so that's why if anybody ask you what is this uh, sql data warehouse okay what we do is that traditional data warehouse is having all these particular uh, complex features that you are having here all the complex features what are those complex features we are having these different data sources we are having these different data integration technologies different data yeah, transformations and all these particular things are there in order to do all these particular things okay but when we move on to this new platform what you can see here okay, oh, tell no, no, no. so can you tell me in case if we move on to this new platform what are the things that you are having here in this case vijay oh yeah yeah ravi so we will just uh, etl streaming then from there we will move to data to cloud platform aws or gcp by using the all the different different oltp data sources so that we said is it not the complexity of processing the data has been totally reduced here yeah it reduced a lot lot of uh, integration the complexity process. of processing the data has been reduced a lot and then uh, you are able to maximize using your uh, one data platform that one data platform what you are having here is nothing but a snowflake data platform here okay yeah. using this particular snowflake data platform but what is the underlying base for the snowflake can anybody tell me what is the underlying uh, underlying uh, snowflake that you are having out there underlying platform it has got your google cloud it has got your aws cloud as well as it has got your uh, azure cloud also as well azure cloud so these are all the different features uh, that we prefer to use uh, in order to implement your uh, cloud data platform using snowflake so that's why if anybody ask you what is this uh, snowflake that you want to use here uh, you can be able to tell like this see one platform one copy of the single source of data and many workloads secure mm. data access is there no maintenance mm. of data that is really involved here mm. no maintenance mm. of data that is involved here and then uh, unified performance and scale these are all the features that we are using within this uh, cloud platform here manikum is it clear to you what we are doing here manikum yes yes uh, yes ravi yes ravi so hello is, yeah can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you so this is what is the value of your cloud data platform this is the value of the cloud data platform so so this is what uh, we are planning to do in this uh, thing here one minute now here when you want to understand uh, what is this snowflake this is your futuristic visionary of the snowflake here what you are planning to do here using the snowflake uh, you can try to do a type of etl and elt process you can try to have both uh, structured and semi structured data you can use your uh, snowflake for your data science applications we can have this time travel and all these particular things that exist security and everything is really being maintained uh, so that uh, this is the snowflake that we are planning to learn in the next coming days basically so uh, one more thing i'll tell you here is uh, see here in 2026 uh, what is been done here this is your snowflake this is your snowflake and then you can have the option of bringing all the different types of data into your snowflake platform and then we can try to build this uh, uh, pipelines here and then this is something that can be used by your data science and ml and uh, other applications also as well this is uh, these are all the things tomorrow what we do is that once we come back uh, we'll start understanding the benefits of snowflake and then the course content what we are going to cover i i hope you have got the course content right basically yes uh, we got it and one question ravi here cheppandi yeah so yeah so you told uh, this one is a sql based queries we can write it right but uh, just now Are you are telling that uh, Snowflake will support for unstructured and semi-structured and uh, structured data. I so didn't tell you that Snowflake will support uh, unstructured data. 
Snowflake will support only structured and semi-structured data. That's it. Semi-structured. Okay. Uh, how how we can write the queries for semi-structured data? So so uh, Snowflake I mean, has uh, got uh, suppose. Snow uh, Snowflake has got a different type of uh, data type called as variant data type. Variant data type that can have the option of uh, storing your semi-structured data also as well, Monikim. We'll be discussing that one in the due course. Okay, okay, right. Thank you. It can store uh, the JSON data, XML data, PARQ data, and ORC data, and all that particular data can be stored, but images and uh, other things what you are having here cannot be stored in this one. Yeah, we'll be discussing them too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, so tomorrow, are, are all of you are going to join tomorrow also as well? Please let me know. And Ram Garu, no. Yes, sir. I will join. Yes, sir. Huh? Sorry? Yes, Deepa, I yeah, will join. I will join. Yeah, we'll be joining using this particular same link. And then tomorrow what we do is that we'll continue the features of Snowflake. We will understand what is the course content that we are going to cover because uh, a lot is going to be there which cannot be covered in this uh, uh, one month of one hour of time here. So I need to cover mm -hmm. all these particular things uh, uh, to make sure that uh, how to get started with Snowflake we need to see and then the course content will be covering. And uh, from Monday, my Monday, that is your Tuesday onwards, what we'll be doing is that uh, we'll be, you'll be uh, getting into this particular course curriculum. That's what we are going to do here in this case. Okay, so any questions you are having here, please let me know so that uh, I'll start. Uh, I'll start uh, answering those particular questions. See, I told you right. Snowflake is relatively new in the cloud data warehousing space. Then uh, it is purposefully built for this cloud data platform. The third thing is that uh, unique features. Uh, like time travel feature is there and then data sharing feature, data cloning feature, Redis account sharing features, and then out of box security and all these particular things are uh, paper uh, second billing model. These are all the things uh, that makes you a cloud snows platform. So we'll be covering this particular course content also as well. What we are going to cover, those particular concepts, uh, I will let you know tomorrow before uh, we start uh, getting to the actual subject. So that's the reason I need one more day. Do you agree with me, Monikim? Cannot be covered in a single day, right? Single hour? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah. So kindly don't force yourself to fit into where somewhere you don't belong to. I hope uh, this is the true platform that will help you to uh, create these particular things. And then my data boot camps, what you're hanging here is really meant for all these things, data scientist, data engineer, machine learning, statistician, and all these particular things. Uh, we create all these particular things here in this course. Okay. So any questions, please let me know. I'll be able to answer them. No, uh, will you be sharing any materials as also? After I will be sharing all the materials. I'll be sharing you all the case studies, all the work labs, as well as uh, I'll also be sharing I'll also be sharing uh, the material that is required for preparing for the certification also as well. I'll be sharing the entire material to you guys. Everything. Okay. What more you want, you please tell me. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, Ravi, do we need any basic uh, knowledge or understanding on this cloud platforms also for, for this? Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing is required. Nothing is required. Everything is going to be covered. What is required for Snowflake uh, in order to make yourself comfortable, everything is going to be covered in this course altogether. Okay. Sir, one question. Some people already have some experience. So some people are without any knowledge. So how you're going to explain equally for all the people? So I for told you, remember, uh, I expect everyone, I you might be having different backgrounds for the normalization purpose. I, I expect, uh, I assume that everyone is at a zero level and then uh, I'll try to take you to that hero level. That is my, and that is my understanding. Uh, um, Swati, did you ask that question? Uh, no, sir, it's me, Bhavya. Yeah, Bhavya, yeah, that's how we are going to take. No worries. 
I, let me tell you like this. If there is something like A, B, C, D, without making you to learn this A, B, and C, I don't teach you D. That's how it is going to be very much simple here. Okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Any other questions? And this course can we ex expect uh, any real real time work experience, sir? How are you going to explain any real time experience? Yeah, everything is going to be explained, madam. Everything is going to be explained based on the real time scenarios only. It is going to be explained. I'll be making you to work on a, uh, a very good uh, case study that will expose you all the features uh, from end to end. So you should be good on that one. And tomorrow, Ravi, tomorrow will be same time. We will be doing the demo. Then after that, uh, when is the actual class uh, will start? Which day? Tuesday. Are Tuesday. To... Your Tuesday, they are going to start. Okay. US time Monday and uh, Indian time Tuesday, they are going to start. Okay. Got it. 20 seconds. Mm. Okay. Whenever there is not going to be any class, I'll inform you one day in advance so that uh, you can be taken care of those things. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Sir. So that's it for my side, and then uh, in case if you are good. Uh, uh, we'll take leave and then we'll meet tomorrow. Okay? Sure. We'll meet tomorrow. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. And Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.